Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. A little while ago, I had the opportunity to unbox the Goliath Automation and Robotics Colossus Starter Kit. A $450 starter kit, which is just insane. And if you want to know all the bits and bobs that are in this thing, I encourage you to go watch my unboxing. It was pretty unreal. Now, I got a lot of questions both on YouTube and in the Facebook group about the kit, and so I thought that I would do a complete review. So, I've decided I'm going to chapterize this video so you can watch the parts that you care about. The review is going to be broken into four parts. The first one is, who is this kit for? The second one is, what do I think? Third chapter is, what would I change? And the fourth, we will talk about the value of this kit. And so with that being said, let's get started. Now, the vast majority of the questions that I got had to do with value and trying to understand who this kit is for. And uh, let me start off by saying that I am a big fan of watching Doug DeMuro videos. And I sit there and watch him review $300,000 supercars that are not practical for my purposes, but thousands of people find practical for their purposes because they buy them. And so I want to help you wrap your mind around who this kit is for. And uh, there are a few groups of people who would really benefit from a kit like this. Now, I'm going to go right off the bat and say that you absolutely could buy these parts cheaper from AliExpress if you order them directly from China. Now I have a video where I've shown how I have placed over 400 orders from AliExpress and most of them have gone really well. Some of them have gone really poorly. Uh, but the one thing that is common to all AliExpress orders is that you're taking a chance and you're taking time. And so I have friends who absolutely will not order from AliExpress. I can tell them Hey, you know, 90% of the time it works 100% of the time. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. But for the most part, I, most of my friends will not order from AliExpress. And so you have to understand that this kit is not for someone who enjoys scrolling through AliExpress and finding individual parts, uh, not for somebody looking for the absolute cheapest. This kit is for people who not only value their money, but also their time, and they want customer service to go along with that. That just doesn't happen when you order from AliExpress. So let me explain. There are a ton of parts in this kit, but in my opinion, the most valuable one is this one. And it is a warranty card. And it tells you that they will get back to you within 24 hours and that they will replace parts. Now let me, let me explain that. I have exchanged probably a hundred emails with the people from GAR and it's never been more than 24 hours before they responded to me. And to give you an idea of their customer service, when we were talking about what I was allowed to do with this kit and what customers are allowed to do with this kit, they told me that their customer service will replace a part. Let's say that I take the rain sensor and I put it outside an experiment and it gets destroyed by hail, they will send me a new rain sensor. It's that kind of level of customer service. So you're not just buying the parts of the kit, you're buying the customer service and the ability to get it in two days and the ability to return it, uh, which you just can't do with AliExpress. Now, one thing that's become abundantly clear as I've started my own business is that the expression that time is money is extremely true. There are times that I will be sitting on a conference call and I'll look around and realize there are $2,000 an hour where the people on a conference call discussing a photo or something like that. So the idea that you could just go on AliExpress and order all these parts and save a bunch of money isn't necessarily true if you're working for a company or, or an organization or something like that. Ask any YouTuber who does mailbag videos, and I have spent dozens, but probably hundreds of hours searching AliExpress to find deals and to find cool parts and things like that. And that time is not free. And so who is this kit for? This kit is great for schools. I could see a school buying this kit and maybe 10 or 15 Elegoo starter kits, let's just say. Let's say that you're, if you're a school district, there's no way they're going to let you order from AliExpress. You will have to order from somebody like Amazon. And so in that situation, if I was setting up a classroom, I would buy this kit to have a whole bunch of other parts. And then I might buy 10 or 15 standard 
Elegoo or whatever starter kits, Key Studio starter kits to give every kid a basic set. And then this fills in the gaps with all the other things that you wouldn't have. Um, also, if I was a robotics club or if I had a makerspace and you really want to fill in with a whole bunch of, of other parts so that you sort of have this complete kit that you can go in there and grab whatever you want. I think it's a great value for that. The next thing is a lot of people don't realize, but homeschool kids are often allowed to spend a certain amount of money for these types of supplies. And so if you have that budget, they're not going to let you spend it in China. You'd have to go on Amazon. If you have four or five kids that are interested in electronics, you get this. Everybody's got Arduinos and ESP8266s and all that kind of stuff. So although not everyone sees the value in this kit. It is definitely for some people. I do want to say that I'm under no obligation to make this video. And uh, in fact, I don't have to say nice things about this video. And I'll get into some things that I would change and some things that I would do differently. But one of the things about talking to these people is just that they're really nice people. They're the type of people that I enjoy supporting. Uh, I'm filming this during the pandemic and they made a company goal to give away one starter kit a week at least for the entire year. And to this point, they're on pace to do that nine months into the year. And so uh, for a relatively small company deciding that they want to give away a whole bunch of stuff and help people during this pandemic, I think that is awesome. So what do I think of the kit in general? Um, if you watched the unboxing, you probably heard me say that it took me over an hour to get all the parts out of the box. There were that many parts. And in fact, for shooting this video, I had to take about half the stuff out of the box just so I could reach in there easily and get to the things that I wanted to show you. Uh, so it is an extremely complete starter kit. Are there some things I would change? Absolutely, we'll get to that next. But on the whole, this starter kit is very, very complete. Now, I didn't spend a lot of time talking about this because I hadn't gone through it uh, when I did the unboxing, but it did come with a thumb drive and there's a Dropbox link that has updated code. And um, it is, this is not meant to be an Arduino course. They include some thousands of pages of PDFs that they wrote, thousands of pages of documentation and example codes and you know I went through and I would grab a random part from the box and search through the thumb drive and just find out what examples they had and I would try to build them from the instructions and you know I mean they're the typical internet tutorials that are you know they're good it's not meant to be a complete beginning to ending ending course but there's a lot of good stuff on this thumb drive now, as far as the boards go, this is not Key Studio. They don't manufacture their own boards with their own pin headers and, and do their own silk screening and things like that. They go out and they source other parts and put them into this kit. But as a whole, I have found that the quality of the boards is very good. The boards are clean. Um, I, there were maybe three bent pins in the entire box. Uh, you know, I, I'll get that on average getting a shield from China. And so, uh, everything was packaged well. Everything seems to be of good quality. I have taken a lot of parts out to, build kits. I needed to quick prototype something for a friend the other day and I just went in there. Everything I needed to do the prototyping was in the box. Uh, it all fired up and, and I, I would expect it to. For the most part, I've not had an issue getting stuff from China that uh, doesn't work and that's where these boards originate from. But I will say on, on average, they've chosen quality boards that aren't coming in all covered with solder mask and, and solder paste and and just all that kind of stuff, they're, they're quality, well done boards. So I'm being honest when I say that I've held every single part in this kit, I've looked it over, I've done a bunch of the tutorials, and uh, and there's nothing actually wrong with anything that they sent in this kit. So I think they did a really good job. So one of the fun things about being an internet commentator is that I get to tell you guys what I think that I would do. Um, now, I don't have tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars tied up in parts that I have to try to sell and I don't have to make these decisions about what people will buy on Amazon and what they won't. So I can just give you my opinion about what I would change about this kit and maybe even if you were going to buy this kit, what you would want to buy in addition to it. Um, the first thing is there's a lot of prototyping type shields and I think that's great. I think they're really handy. Uh, they're a lot easier than breadboarding and stuff like that. So, But in place of one or two of these or maybe in addition to one or two of these, uh, there are a couple of other shields that I would love to see included in this kit. I really like these type of shields and there's they're not included. Now they do have 
this one, this uh, LCD shield with some buttons on it. And I think that's a great way to go. I love the idea of being able to pop this on top of an Arduino and have a screen and some buttons just right there at your fingertips. And what I would like to see is one or more of these type of shields. This is called like a multifunction shield. This is a TM1638 or something like that, which just technically isn't a shield. Um, it just connects to a couple pin headers and this one's pretty jacked up, but this relay shield, they did include a relay um, in there, but I would like to see something like one of these little relay shields. Now, on one hand, I completely understand them not wanting to go into a lot of AC stuff. So I wouldn't fault people for not including that, but um, I do love the idea of these little buttons and displays on there. And I, these are, they're super cheap. They're like a buck or two a piece. And uh, I would like to see a little bit more of this type of thing included in the kit. The next thing is me being a little nitpicky. Um, I love this shield. As I said, I love the idea of just being able to pop this on there and getting uh, some buttons and a screen. I love this shield because it's oversized and different from the ones that are included in all the other uh, starter kits, and I really appreciate them including that. Um, and this one, I do love that it's another 1602 with an I2C backpack on it, and that's fantastic, but it really doesn't get you at much that this one doesn't already have. And so what I would love to see included is one of these tiny little OLED screens. And I think that that would make, this one has really bad solder mask on it, but I think that would make a big difference. And part of the deal for me is that when you include something like this, you're teaching a new technology. Like everybody, you know, everybody has gone through the, you know, setting your position and setting your line on the LCD screens and, and putting out some characters and stuff like that. So these three screens basically teach you the same thing. But when you get into this, all of a sudden there's new technology, there's graphics and new libraries you get to use and stuff like that. And so for it being as cheap as it is, if it was me, I would swap out this one with this one or add this in addition. So that's what I would do. So these two things aren't required and obviously this isn't a plug-in uh, soldering iron, but I would love to see uh, maybe, again, I can understand you not wanting to ship a soldering iron or even being responsible for a soldering iron that was shipped with a uh, with a starter kit. So no judgment on my part for not including one, but I don't think it'd be the worst thing in the world to have one. But again, I don't know what I'm talking about. And the next thing is maybe a cheap uh, Harbor Freight style multimeter, I think would be a nice little addition. You know, if you're a kid, uh, you know, stick this in the wall socket. Again, another thing I understand that you might not want to ship to kids, but I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to have a multimeter. So up until this point, I would say that most of my things that I think should change are uh, you know, just personal preference. And I like this a little bit better than that. Again, not my company, not my right to say, but I just, yeah, personal preference. But the one thing I think is a real actual omission is the lack of any sort of addressable LEDs. Um, I, I can understand if you don't include a soldering iron, you probably wouldn't include, oh, that's terrible soldering. Uh, you probably wouldn't include this particular one, but I would really love to see some form of addressable LED. Some of the coolest projects in the maker world are uh, addressable LEDs. Even if you just had a couple of them, this is not an addressable one, but even if you had a couple of little RGB modules uh, like this, I think that it would be really cool to teach the NeoPixel library. And I think that people uh, who are getting into this should know how to do addressable LEDs. And that to me, that's the one thing that is is just a straight up omission about this kit. But other than that, again, like I had to reach pretty hard to find things that weren't included in the kit. So the real question of this comes down to value. Now, again, I'm not going to I'm not going to deny it. If time is not part of the equation, if you can afford to go around AliExpress and order all these parts or as many of these parts you want and make your own custom kit, awesome. Uh, you will save dollars doing that. Uh, so this really comes down to an Amazon discussion. If you either prefer or are only allowed to order from a place like Amazon, that's where this gets a little bit more interesting. Now, I made a crazy request to the people. I, I asked them to justify their $450 price point for this kit. And so what they did was they, they obliged me. They actually went through Amazon and found all of these parts or as close as they could get to them and sent me a spreadsheet of all of it on Amazon. And I went through and I spot checked and they're pretty right on. Um, they're over 500 and I believe it's 550 some dollars worth of parts on Amazon. 
and then you know the reality is you guys saw in the video it costs seventy dollars to ship this to me and so um you know you're looking at the over six hundred dollar range now again you might decide to go buy some other starter kits and and piecemeal your stuff together and that that's fine uh so really this comes down to whether you value getting everything in this kit from one place and coming back to that customer service thing coming back to the fact that um when you have these things if you don't understand something you have somebody to email if something doesn't work you have somebody to email if um you break something you have somebody to email like that is the huge value proposition of this kit uh now i should say they do have several lower end kits going all the way down to $99 with the same type of warranty and the same type of service. So even if this particular kit isn't for you, there may be a kit at a different price point that is for you. So am I telling you to buy this? I don't tell anybody to buy anything. Um, do you want the kit? Can you afford the kit? Does it make sense for your business? Then it's a very good kit it's a very complete kit and most of all just this is just my opinion nobody's paying me to say this these are good people i like working with these people um i like supporting these people uh if you don't find value in customer support if you don't find value in being able to get all these things at one place quickly if you don't find value in being able to return it if you get it and it's not what you want then this kit isn't for you if you don't value those things as much as some other people do, that's okay. You know, I can appreciate that a Lamborghini Aventador exists, even though I will never own a Lamborghini Aventador. That's perfectly fine in the world that we live in. And so I hope you enjoyed the kit. I hope you enjoyed looking at the stuff. I hope that uh, if you're in the market to fill out something for a... Uh, a STEM class or a robots group or a homeschool group, or you just want a whole bunch of electronic stuff, so you at least consider this kit. So, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.